Hi, I'm Pam Foster, happily retired high school choral director turned entrepreneur, and I love helping you and your families to live a healthy lifestyle. So today, we are going to be talking about how do you share with others about what you have found that has brought joy to you, healing maybe to you and your family through our products and services or the business opportunity, which is a financial need for many people. And so things I have written down a few little points for you. So I'm going to be looking at my notes to make sure I don't miss something. But number one, first and foremost is your belief and what you have your hands on. So when we know what we know, it doesn't matter what people say. We need to be sharing from our heart and having conversations with people every single day. That's what we do. So committed to your process. So what do you do when you get up in the morning and what is your um, daily method of sharing with others? So is that by social media? Is that by belly to belly? Is that by making a personal phone call or all the above, which I would suggest. And so pick out a block of time that is going to work best for you. Many people are doing this part time from home and so they need to be committed, which is our first point here to the time frame that you are working within. So does that mean you get up earlier and on your way to work, you're making those phone calls to the people that you've written down the night before that you need to contact today? Uh, maybe 15 minutes on a break at lunch, you could take a few minutes to call and follow up with someone. And then of course on the way home. So even if you did that, that's 45 minutes into uh, your day that normally maybe you weren't working with. So that is one of the ways that I would suggest being committed to finding a time block that works for you. Now, if you're working from home, of course you're gonna have more time freedom but it's that freedom that sometimes can get us in trouble when we're not committed to working that time block. And so that's what I want to highlight today with you. What is your time block and what are you committed to working each day? Um, second of all, uh, the process. So how are we doing that? You're asking people to take a look, whether that be for a business or for the product or whatever their need is. So when you're talking with people and having a conversation, you're listening, of course, and we're hearing those needs. So the process is finding a pain point. Is that health? Is that their pocketbook or both? And how can you help them? You're offering solutions for that. So find the pain point and then uh, offer the solution is the first thing that we're going to be doing. So you're following the process every time you're speaking with someone. Um, second of all is get serious about what you're doing. So as I talked before about the little time block, make sure that that is a commitment that you're willing to stick with. How many people will you be reaching out to each and every day? And so if it's two, just you never drop below the two. If it's five, then you're connecting with five people every day. Now, Sundays we take off, um, and I would encourage you to do the same because you can't run 24 seven, seven days a week, you'll burn out. So find that time, the commitment, posture up, and then what is the time frame that you're working, and then what are you doing within that time frame? How many people are you committed to reach out to on a daily basis? And then number three, <laughs> don't allow a negative no to stop you. Okay, how many times have you gotten a no and then all day long, what are you thinking about? Well, that person said no, or this didn't go right, or that wasn't the way I planned that to happen. I knew she'd be interested. You'll be surprised when you start reaching out, the people that will say yes, and then let the no's go because that's just a not yet, it's not the time for them. And your main mission is to qualify people that are, actually they're qualifying themselves. You're asking if they would take a look at something, especially if it's a business right now, which is what we're looking for business leaders and business partners in what we're doing. And so would, I've come across something that's super exciting. I really think you would be a great fit. I have always dreamed of working together with you. And this has crossed my desk want you to take a look. When can you carve out 15 minutes that we can see if this, if you see what I see and if this is a fit for you and then set that appointment to get with that person. And if they say no, they say no, it's not anything wrong with that, but keep that positive mindset. That's why I was saying when I started this whole call today, it's posture. So what are you doing to posture up 
in your business this week. Have a blessed week and we wish you the best. Bye.